Jim, this is hot. Just moments ago, the Fort City's biggest festival of the year kicking off at Brightbeck Park. Yeah, probably the biggest they've seen mm -hmm. since the pandemic. Oswego's Harbor Fest back, and that's where we find News Channel Line's Ashley Cafaro live. Ashley, they just opened the gates there. Uh, people pouring in right now. Hey, Jeff and Christy. Um, so right now I'm facing my fear of heights. I'm on the Ferris wheel on the Midway, and I'm trying to not look down because, like I said, I'm afraid of heights, but I'm doing this for all of you at home, and this is one of the many rides you can take a ride on here at Harbor Fest. There's also a lot of other carnival rides and games and all that delicious food, and also look at how beautiful the view is from up here and it's a gorgeous day my hair is going a little crazy but you know like I said this is just one of the many rides that you can go on here at Harbor Fest and also they are expecting about 75 to 100,000 people to attend this year's festival with some people coming as far as Virginia and we spoke to the Oswego native and executive director for the Harbor Fest to find out what he likes so much about the festival and here's what he had to say. I think listening to the music, you know, because it's free. And just, you know, when my family gets together, we get together with friends, and it, it's just a good time. You know, have something to eat, have something to drink, and just have a good time. All right, Jeff and Christy, I have to go. I'm shaking right now because I'm so afraid of heights. But if you want to come ride on this um, Ferris wheel or other rides here, Harbor Fest is happening tonight, tomorrow, fr Saturday, and Sunday. I'm getting my days mixed up because I'm nervous. But live in Oswego, Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9. Hang on tight. You'll be okay.